Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to today's morning report with me, Rich Perry, Market Analyst at Handtech Markets on Wednesday the 3rd of June. European trading sessions got off to a mixed start really. Um, so much going on in the markets yesterday, so much um, selling pressure on the dollar, buying pressure on the euro and um, some significant moves that we saw in the process. Um, just very briefly we had that inflation print coming out higher than expected on the euro. That drove um, that drove the German Bunds and the euro higher. Let me just quickly show you German Bund yields sharply higher on the day. Yesterday that big strong move and that sort of continued today. Uh, Euro is consolidating slightly today but certainly there is a positive correlation between the German Bund yield and the euro so watch out for that um, today. Um, and also we had some significant uh, dollar weakness as well um, just just um, just driven by the factory orders that came in worse than expected. Um, the Australian uh, RBA was not as dovish as anticipated and also FOMC member Brainard was um, fairly dovish in his comments as well. So uh, the um, the moves on the dollar yesterday were sharply lower in terms of that uh, dollar trade. Um, let me just show you the dollar index. That's not actually the dollar index, so one sec. Hopefully it will come up any minute. There you go. And the dollar index is there. So yeah, um, sharply lower on the dollar index huge move to the downside and um, some significant moves across all the forex charts slightly being retraced today though interestingly uh, in the last few minutes and um, there had been euro strength earlier on and um, the euro strength was supported by um, some positive PMI data out from the eurozone services PMI slightly higher than expected on the um, eurozone print 53.8 up from 53.3 expected and that certainly helped to um, Helped to support the euro, which came under a little came under a little bit of early pressure, um, and that was driven by a um, the uh, the news that uh, the uh, the Germans were going to be issuing a, a link uh, an inflation linked bond for 30 years, and uh, that would sort of suggest that they're preparing for inflation there. Um, so the uh, euro under a little bit of pressure on that regard. But um, what we have seen also today is uh, stock markets fairly neutral and um, no real um, moves there in terms of uh, stock markets in front of what is going to be another important day. We've got the ECB giving monetary policy today at 2, um, 12.45. No expectation of a change in rates. However, you've got the press conference at 1.30 where Draghi is going to get grilled on how the ECB is going to react in terms of inf inflation spiking and um, pushing higher and also on Benoit Cure's comments um, a couple of weeks ago with regard to front loading the uh, QE purchases. Then also this afternoon we've got the employment data uh, for the ADP employment report uh, and that comes out at, oh sorry that is the wrong one Let me just, uh, there we go. ADP employment report coming out at uh, one fifteen this afternoon. Expected to push higher actually to 200,000 on the ADP. So slightly higher than the last couple of months we've seen there. But it, it does have a little bit of a correlation with the uh, employment or the non-farm payrolls report on Friday. So um, uh, traders do tend to take a little bit of notice on that. Um, but then this afternoon, the big one, you've got the ISM non-manufacturing PMI. Expected to drop slightly to 57 figure. Um, and uh, considering what we've just had from the UK, actually, from uh, a sharp decline on the UK services PMI, it'll be interesting to see if the states can hold up. Um, so 57 figure would still be pretty pretty decent number. But um, uh, in light of what happened in the UK, um, it could well um, be interesting to see if that number is actually as strong as that. Um, which takes me to my chart of the day, which today is the Kiwi. And we, I saw yesterday the um, the break, the uh, turnaround in the Aussie dollar, uh, and the Kiwi has actually formed a three candlestick formation here, which is called a morning star which is basically where you get a strong bearish candle, a pretty neutral candle, followed by a strong bullish candle. Um, and uh, the open and the close, sorry, the open of the bearish candle and the close of the neutral candle coming around about the same point. And in fact, within one pip of each other, 70, 
um, seventy one ninety five. Um, so very in very interesting there. Sorry, seventy one seventy five, uh, which again is around about where the resistance comes in from the old key low of seventy one seventy two. So very important level that clearly is around 71.75. The reaction today has not been all that positive um, although you have you're starting to sort of question this downtrend um, that we've been in for the past three weeks the um, the Kiwi has just fallen away and it's actually off 30 pips at the moment which is about 0.4 of a percent to the downside. What you'd be looking out for would be a positive day to back up that bullish candle that we saw yesterday don't seem to be getting that, although it's a little bit of a consolidation, you would argue, that's um, just drawing around this uh, this support between 71.30, 71.50 sort of area, uh, and that is 20 pips worth of support, I think, that needs to hold for this chart to continue to recover um, today. Um, the near-term momentum indicator is just beginning to roll over in the last couple of hours, actually, which is not um, all that good all that great however if you can um, see this uh, this chart holding above the 7130 level interestingly enough I've got on this chart this uh, 55 hour moving average which has been a pretty strong basis of resistance in the selling t in the selling um, phase in the last few few weeks and it's now turning up and it, if that starts to also become a basis of support that would be a positive aspect to this chart again but as I said I think that this chart needs to be showing a positive day today uh, and if you see that positive day um, and if there is a turnaround then that would see the bulls regaining a little bit of near term control and I think you'd be pushing back towards the next resistance band that comes in around about the uh, 7270 mark which is all these uh, old lows here from these trading um, from uh, late March and into May as well. Um, but at the moment, as I said, this um, this support around 71.30 needs to hold uh, today for this uh, for this sort of improvement to continue. Um, being tested at the moment, but uh, we'll wait and see how this turns out. But certainly at the moment, it is under pressure um, for this uh, positive outlook to continue. So I wish you good luck in your trading on the Kiwi today. Lots going on in the markets. Obviously, that ECB uh, press conference will be um, the main volatile event, but also the ISM non-manufacturing data. So again, lots going on. And I haven't even mentioned the Greece. Greece deal that uh, is now on the table uh, potentially for the markets to uh, to deal with. Um, and um, will Greece take up this this proposal that the um, that the uh, creditors have put on the table? Remains to be seen, and that is uh, again um, a, a, a big news flow item that uh, you need to keep an eye on. So lots going on today, and um, lots to move these markets. So I wish you good luck in your trading, and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.